Welcome to Joyful Adventure Audit. Today we're exploring an interesting Grade 2 listed play sculpture in Fox Hollies Park, also known as Curtis Gardens, on Fox Hollies Road in Acox Green, Birmingham. This abstract fish-shaped sculpture made of concrete was created around 1960 by the sculptor John Bridgman as part of an innovative playground design for a new housing estate built on the former grounds of the Fox Hollies Hall estate. Bridgman was inspired by playground concepts from Denmark and Sweden that incorporated abstract play sculptures to encourage creative interaction. This is now believed to be the only surviving example of Bridgman's play sculptures commissioned by Birmingham City Council in the 1960s. The sculpture sits in Curtis Gardens, which was landscaped in a Scandinavian style by pioneering landscape architect Mary Mitchell when this housing estate with its three blocks of flats was constructed in 1959-1960. The only other remaining evidence of the former Fox Hollies estate is a gate pillar from the approach to the grand mansion that once stood here, occupied by the Walker family in the 1800s after the estate passed from the Fox family. Many people walk by this sculpture and gate pillar without realizing the fascinating history behind them as relics of the area's past country estate transformed into modern public housing. We'll take a closer look at both the play sculpture itself and the gate pillar remnant to appreciate this snapshot of Birmingham's architectural evolution. <music> Well that wraps up our adventure delving into the history behind this unassuming play sculpture and its surroundings in a cox green. We uncovered how this grade 2 listed concrete fish sculpture was part of an innovative playground concept incorporating abstract shapes to encourage creative play when this housing estate was built in the 1960s. Created by renowned sculptor John Bridgman and commissioned by Birmingham City Council, it's now a rare surviving example of these unique play sculptures. The landscaping by pioneering designer Mary Mitchell gave the area a distinctive Scandinavian flair. Nearby, the leftover gateway pillar served as a subtle reminder of the Grand Fox Hollies Hall estate that previously occupied this land before being redeveloped into public housing towers. And the heritage trail board provided excellent context about the area's transformation from medieval farmlands to the aristocratic Fox family's manor grounds and eventually today's residential neighborhood. This unlikely collection of a historic sculpture, crumbling pillar, and informative signage gives us a window into a Cox Green's rich past lives. It was fascinating to peel back the layers of history still preserved in this unassuming park. Explorations like this are exactly what Joyful Adventure Audits is all about rediscovering overlooked sites and unearthing the stories behind familiar surroundings. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming videos shining a light on more hidden gems across Birmingham.